This is probably the coolest home security system I've seen. What you're looking at now is footage from the Eufy E3300 combined with the Homebase 3. What you're witnessing here is called the cross camera tracking event. And what this does is it automatically combines footage from multiple cameras around your house into a single timeline. Because of the cross camera tracking feature and the fact that this is a 24 by seven 4K solution, this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. So in this video, we're gonna dive into all the features. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons. We're gonna look at who this is great for and then who maybe should look for something else. Now, before we jump into this, I do wanna make it clear that Eufy did send me this product for review, but with all my review videos, I wanna make sure to give you all the information you need upfront in order to make a decision that is right for you. Now, most smart home camera security solutions provide only event-based recording, which means you're not going to have the entire footage from the entire day recorded with your camera because it's just going to capture those moments where it detects things as an event. The advantage to that is it saves a lot of storage space on the camera. You don't have to eat up a lot of memory in order to save all the video. But the disadvantage to that is sometimes things just get missed because they don't register as an event on a camera. So the 24 by seven recording solution, this is more like an actual closed circuit television CCTV system in that it will capture everything all day long. So if something happens on your property and for some reason you didn't get an event or an event notification was missed, you can go back and watch all the footage for the entire day to see what happened. The other cool thing about 24 by seven recording is the fact that it will pick up things before an event and after an event. So sometimes you'll see minor things that will happen on your property that actually will lead up to the actual event. That can be really important to have if you have any kind of serious situation on your property. So while event-based recordings can show you the core information about what happened, the ability to see what happened before and after can bring in a lot of great context. Now, unlike traditional CCTV systems, you don't actually have to run a video cable from the camera all the way back to a recording station somewhere in your house. These cameras communicate with the Homebase 3 wirelessly, so all the video transmission happens over your Wi-Fi network, which makes it super easy to place the cameras anywhere around your house. Now, like I said before, these are 24 by seven cameras and they do record in 4K. Now this is new for Eufy because most of their cameras record in 2K in order to save on space. But because we're combining these cameras with the new Homebase 3, the Homebase 3 offers a ton of storage. In fact, the four camera kit of the E330 includes a one terabyte hard drive. So this is plenty of storage for you to be able to capture everything that happens at your house in 4K and 24 by seven. These cameras also feature color night vision. So that means you can pick up all the different details that a lot of security cameras miss at night because they will only record in black and white. Picking up colors at night can be really critical too because you can identify different colors of clothing that someone is wearing and even different car colors of a car that you might find suspicious. These cameras also have built-in LED lights which will illuminate an area and you can even control how bright these are inside of the app. And of course, if you wanna record in the traditional black and white night vision format, you can certainly do that. These cameras also have those built-in IR sensors that will light up the area. So the camera will capture everything that happens, but no one will know the cameras around. Now, unlike traditional 24 by seven CCTV systems, where you have to run a cable from the camera locations all the way back to a recording station somewhere in your house, these will communicate with the home base wirelessly. Cameras will connect back to the home base three over your normal Wi-Fi connection in your house. The cameras can also talk to each other on their own network of sorts. And this feature is called the multi-bridge. And like I said in the beginning of this video, the cross camera tracking feature is amazing. So like you can see here in this video, this is me walking around the outside of my house. And you can see on the timelines here, it skips the dead parts where it doesn't detect any motion or it doesn't see me on camera. And then as soon as it detects me again, you can see that timeline clip kick back in for the next camera. For example, here I am in the back of my house and then I move to the front of the house and go into my garage. Again, doing this with other camera solutions is possible, but it's kind of a pain because you do have to use video editing software to just piece everything together in order for it to be just right. And even then you kind of lose the timeframes to see when someone is at one specific part of your house versus another. And within the app itself, it shows you when one clip starts, when it ends, and then when the next one picks up. So if someone is in a blind spot for a while, you can see exactly how long that was. And this is the level of detail that a lot of times you can miss if you do something like this manually. The other cool thing with the Bionic AI feature from the Homebase 3 is that you can actually register faces. So for example, in this video clip, it knows it's me because I registered my face with the Homebase 3. If someone shows up that the Homebase 3 doesn't recognize, it will flag that person as an unknown and you can check out the footage to see if it's someone that you know or if it's someone that is truly a stranger. You can also enable detection for vehicles and pet tracking as well. Now this is a really cool feature because you can stop checking your video footage every time you get an emotion detected alert on your phone and only focus on the things that are important to you. So for example, you can ignore the notification when a pet happens to cross by your camera and you can check things out when it registers a stranger. 
The other thing I really like about the AI tracking is the ability to be able to add additional angles of your face over time. I think this is really cool because obviously computers aren't always perfect and the ability to register additional faces versus replacing a face with a single face, I think is really great when it comes to flexibility and is really a testament to the amount of engineering that Eufy has put into this product. As far as camera installation goes, it's a pretty simple process. You just have to make sure the camera is within about 16 and a half feet from a power source. So a lot of times these cameras are mounted underneath an eave on a home, and a lot of homes nowadays have power outlets underneath the eaves for things like Christmas lights. So if this is your case, if that's where you wanna install these cameras, you can simply plug into one of those outlets under your eaves and you're good to go. Now, if you don't happen to have power within about 16 and a half feet from these cameras, Eufy does offer an extension cable that you can purchase to extend the power cord. You just have to contact them and let them know that that's what you need in order to install the camera where you wanna place it. Now you don't have to install these cameras outside of your house if you don't want to, you can also use them inside your house as well. So for example, here in this video, I'm installing the camera inside of my garage and it's right by a power outlet. So this is going to provide me footage from inside of my garage, especially if I leave my garage door open at any point in time, I can monitor and see what happens inside the garage and have all the features from a 4K video with night vision, motion detection, AI, you name it. These cameras are also IP67 rated, which I'll leave a description of what that exactly means on the screen here so you can pause the video and check that out. But IP is basically a rating for how waterproof and how weatherproof an electronic device is. And IP67 is really good. So if you wanna place the camera outside where it's totally exposed to the elements, maybe for a front door, or back porch, a pool, something like that, you can rest assured that the camera will stand up to the elements because of the IP67 rating. So when it comes to mounting these, these are fully adjustable. So when it comes to being able to rotate these up and down, you can just loosen that knob and you have 90 degrees worth of control up and down in order to position this at the right location. Also, if you need more control over positioning, you can simply loosen this screw or this screw and then you can turn the camera to make sure everything is nice and level as well. To install this, you just have to mount it on the wall with three screws and the screws are included in the kit as well as a mounting template and wall anchors as well if you're mounting this in something like drywall. Now, as far as the Homebase 3 is concerned, you simply have to hook that up to your wired network. It does include a network cable and I recommend plugging this directly into your home router so it has the best connection possible. Now the kit that I have has four cameras and the home base and the four camera kit includes a one terabyte hard drive. If you don't get the four camera kit, the home base three includes 16 gigabytes of onboard storage versus the one terabyte hard drive with the four camera kit. And if you wanna be able to expand the storage in the future, you can certainly do that. If he's made it really easy to access the hard drive and be able to install a hard drive if you have a home base three that doesn't come with one, or if you want to simply upgrade the hard drive to a larger capacity one, you can install a hard drive that's up to 16 terabytes. Also, if you're wondering, four cameras is not the limit for this system. Per Eufy's documentation, you can add up to 10 cameras in total without worrying about any kind of performance issues. Now the way you set up the cameras is super simple as well. You just have to put the camera next to the home base three and go through a configuration process. This process is really quick and really easy. And then once you set this up inside of your house, you can go and mount the camera in the location that you choose. And like all other Eufy security products, everything is listed in the Eufy security app. So if you have cameras in addition to the Eufy security cameras, or if you have say a smart lock from Eufy security, you can check on and operate everything from a single app. And that includes everything from being able to monitor a live feed to checking on events, being able to export video clips to your phone, setting activity or privacy zones for areas that you don't wanna capture and record, say like a neighbor's window, for example, and even setting up other features like setting up faces for recognition. The other thing I really like about the facial recognition is you don't have to register it from your phone. So there is a process that you can go through where you can register your face just by taking a picture with your phone to register it into the system. However, you can also do that after it detects someone on your cameras. So that way, if say a neighbor comes by and you wanna make sure that you know that neighbor comes by in the future, you will have that tag and that notification of, hey, Jerry or hey, Sue came by you don't have to interrupt them and say something like, hey, can I take your picture for my security system? You can simply just add them later on and register them into the system. And if you're wondering, all the facial recognition information is stored on the Homebase 3 and it's not transmitted back to Eufy Security over the cloud. So that means you can make sure not only your video footage is secured and available only for you, but that all of your biometric information is secured as well. Like I said, this solution stands out in a lot of different ways. And one of the other things I really like about this is it does record in 4K. So while the 2K videos are just fine in a lot of instances, sometimes you do want that extra level of detail that only 4K can provide. And because these are 4K cameras, you can rest assured that you're going to have as much detail captured as possible. 
Now that we've talked about most of the features of the E330, let's talk about some of the disadvantages and maybe some of the things that you need to be careful of before you decide on purchasing this system. Now, to me, the biggest disadvantage to these is they have to be within a certain amount of range of a power source. Now, I totally understand why with these being 4K cameras and the fact that they record 24 by seven, they have to be hooked up to power all the time, which is gonna be, again, similar to a normal CCTV camera that may also need to be plugged in or it may have to draw its power from that base that records all the videos. If not having a power source nearby is an issue for you, that's totally okay. Eufy does have a lot of other products that are solar powered as well, including the S120 solar powered light and also their other solar powered cameras. So if you're looking for a camera solution that provides you with a lot of the features that are available with Eufy security, then one of these other options could be a perfect fit. But if you are looking for a 4K 24 by seven solution, the Eufy E330 is the only thing that's available, at least at the time of this recording. So if you're looking for a 24 by seven 4K solution that has AI detection, then I highly recommend you check out the Eufy Cam E330 Professional. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to check out my other video here. I'm sure you'll like it too. All right, I wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.